Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Get Good at OpenRC2. In this video, I'll be showing you how to uh, yeah, dig out a tunnel uh, inside this wall. And with dig out a tunnel, I actually mean a, a cut out in the land. Um, and you're actually quite flexible with the shape you want it to be. And it will look great for uh, passing through a double wide path, for example, or uh, even a go-kart track or a cozy track. And uh, you can actually also use uh, the method that I'm going to be showing you um, to make floating islands. Anyway, um, yeah, let's uh, let's just uh, get started. Uh, it's actually quite easy to do. Um, a user by the name of Ethan actually made a video some time ago showing how to do this. But uh, some changes have been made in the tile inspector. So his video, uh, well, you could consider this video uh, an update to that. All right, um, yeah, in order to make the cutout, first uh, I'm going to be uh, raising some land um, here in front of the tunnel. And this is kind of the shape that I want the cutout to be. So, um, yeah, you can see um, the slopes. Uh, basically, that's that's uh, how big I want the entrance to be. So then we go into the tile inspector, which you can find in the cheat menu. I will uh, select this tile. Actually, first uh, I'm going to select uh, a ground tile right next to the tunnel, and I will copy this uh, surface element. Then I'm going to this tile, and I will make this surface tile that's there invisible, and I will paste the tile that we just copied. And this um, copied tile, which is the lower one here, I'll move it up above the invisible one and I'm also going to do that for uh, these uh, tiles over here so I'll make this one invisible and I'll paste the new tile and the new tile I'll raise it up above the other one and we'll do the same for this tile now um, if you actually already made the tile invisible and you cannot navigate to it anymore with the tile inspector you can also always uh, just use these buttons to go to the coordinates that you want all right um now aside for this uh um yeah for these pieces that you see here um there isn't much strange going on with the wall but if we yeah, if we uh, move it out of the view and then go back, then you can see something strange here is going on. Now, um, if we want this to uh, look proper, uh, we also have to paste uh, ground tiles uh, here in the place where the tunnel should be. So um, this uh, surface tile that we copied earlier, I'm also going to paste it over here. So paste it over here and I'm moving it up above the other surface tile. And I'm going to do that for all of these uh, tiles where the tunnel should be. I'm also going to do it on, uh, on this side here. Alright, now it looks like you can actually see through this tunnel. Now, um, there's one more thing we should uh, still fix. Um, yeah, this, uh, this wall here now is still uh, very uh, glitchy. So over here, um, we also have to uh, paste these ground tiles, or these surface tiles. So I'll paste one over here, again moving it up, I'm doing the same for the one next to it, and I'm doing the same over here for these ones. Alright, um, now you can see I can actually move my mouse pointer over here. Um, the next thing we have to do is actually add a wall over here inside this uh, tunnel. So I'll just use this uh, rusty wall. Uh, we'll have to disable clearance checks to make it easy for ourselves. And I just go over here, I hold control and then I can place walls here. And I'll do the same on this side. Okay, now if we want to finish the tunnel, we'll also have to do the same on the other side. So I believe it's over here. All 
All right, and now our uh, tunnel is complete. We now have a cutout in the land. And now, for example, you can make a path through it. Now, uh, if you make a path here, I believe it will always show its railings. So, might be best to use the invisible railings for any path you use here, so that it doesn't show any weird, uh, um, yeah, railings. Or maybe you want them to show. That's uh, that's really uh, up to you. So technically, these paths are underground. So in this part it will show the railings, unless you uh, use the invisible ones. Alright, um, now you can also use this trick to make uh, floating land. So for that uh, I'll just make uh, a quick little tower of land. And now I'm just going to uh, quickly show you how to do this. It's actually this exact same trick we used here. Um, except it looks a little bit different. Okay, as you can see, I raised the land next to this uh, uh, tower of land here. So I will copy this surface tile. I will make this one invisible. And I'll paste the other piece here. And I'll move it down. I have set hotkeys to do all these actions. So uh, um, I'm not actually clicking here in the tile inspector. So, um, I select this surface piece, make it invisible, paste the surface tile we just copied, move this piece down, and I do the same over here. Now, it still looks a little bit strange, now it looks like there's a, a hole here. So again, this surface tile, we're also going to paste it on these tiles. And we uh, move the copy tile above the original tile. And now we have a little floating island over here. You can see that when I place uh, some bushes on it. You can actually see the a, a little white square under, uh, under these land tiles where I moved the mouse pointer. Now, uh, I only did it for this, this for one angle, so from here it still looks like the tower. But yeah, you would just have to repeat it for these two angles, and then you have a little floating island. So yeah, it, it will be quite a lot of work to do that for an entire map if you want a big floating island. But I think uh, in the end, the end result will be worth it. Alright, hope this tutorial is useful for you. Uh, if you like this video, please consider giving it a like. It would really help out my channel. And let me know in the comments what you think of this uh, tutorial. Alright, hope the tutorial was useful for you. And I'll see you again in the next video. See you later.